Hey everyone, it's Jet, back today with a video to show you what you can expect if you want to farm the old Scarlet Monastery. What I'm going to do is go into each of the four dungeons available, clear the dungeons, show you where some rares spawn, and talk about some items you can loot for adding to your personal collection or selling them on the auction house. At the end of this video, I'll show you everything that we looted, which will give you an idea of what you can, can expect in here. So with that said, this video might be a little longer than most as I will not be skipping anything. I did some test runs and here are just a few of the items that I have looted. I have gotten the uh, Bizelle's Basher, uh, which sells for around 30K anywhere. Of course, transmog or server dependent. Um, so I've gotten this, it's a rare. I got the Scarlet Gauntlets. I have gotten the Scarlet Wrist Guards. I've gotten the Blood Spiller, which sells for 75k, which is really nice. The Deanship Claymore, and the Scarlet Belt. So those are just some items you can loot in here, um, that you can expect to loot in here. So in the description below, I'll put a list of some important items that you want to look out for. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So without further ado, let's try our luck and see if we can get any new transmog pieces we need or that we can sell and maybe even loot a pattern or two that we need. So to get into the old Scarlet Monastery, what you want to do is you want to hit this keychain after you got the Scarlet Key and completed the quest. I'm assuming everyone knows how to do that. So where we're going to start is we're going to start in the graveyard right here. So we got the graveyard, we got the cathedral, this is the armory, and then we got the scarlet halls here, which is like the library. So we'll go into the graveyard first. And start killing some mobs. So let's get our a loot appraiser on, that way we can uh, get an idea when it pops up, if we get anything worthwhile to selling. Now loot appraiser, if you use it, just like anything, um, it can be deceiving on what you loot and the price. So usually in this first room right here, you'll there's always a chest. Sometimes it's locked, sometimes it's not. Uh, if not, there's always a crate on the ground somewhere around in here that you can loot. So there's always a, usually a chest or a crate that you can loot in here. And there's a boss, the first boss right here in this area right here. Now we're just taking our time, we're not like speed running this or anything. And now what we're going to do is we're coming up on the graveyard here. Now inside this graveyard there are four, or three rares that can spawn. And they are Azir the Sleepless, the Fallen Champion, and Iron Spine. Now these three rares, um, whether they spawn or not, it's like 5%. So you're just going to have to, if you keep running them, eventually you're going to run into them eventually now i'll show you exactly when we get to the spot where they usually spawn at so we're just going to kill all these mobs right here now also i tried testing it there's also a chest right here usually so just be on the lookout for that i put in like if you run in rare scanner or or anything where you can enter an NPC code in there, like an NPC. So when it pops up, it will it'll pop your add-on. I've tried it with the NPC codes for those three rares and it didn't work. Now, I don't know if, you know, these new rare, spare, rare spawns have a new code, NPC code, but they didn't. But usually where one of the spawn locations is right here for the rares. That's where one of where one, where they can spawn is right here. These dungeons, all four of these dungeons are pretty quick. Um, they're they're not long at all, and usually there's always just one boss in there, one uh, main boss. I think the Scarlet Monastery has two.
I think two of them have two, two bosses, so. And another spot these rares can spawn is right here, right here in the corner, right here. I've seen them spawn right where this haunting, uh, this haunting guy is right there, so. That's another location one of those three rares can spawn at. So we got we got a pattern there, earthen uh, heavy earthen gloves, which is nice. I don't know if I have that or not. We'll have to check at the end. So what you want to do is come down here, and at the bottom of this is Blood Mage Thalnos. I believe that's who it is. And it is, so there it is. So we're going to run back to the entrance. That's the whole dungeon for the graveyard. So we're going to run back. So I'm going to pause the video, and when we get to the next one, we'll be right back. All right, the next one we're going to go into is the cathedral. Now, this, is, this was not available in the current version. Uh, this is one that's new. It's the old Scarlet Monastery. So you need the Scarlet Key to enter that. And this one right here, inside here, there is a secret door you got to open right up here. And when you do that, you will be able to find this guy right here. It's High Inquis Quis Inquisit Inquisitor Fairbanks. Now it's late, so pardon me. But I'll show you how to find him whenever we get there. Hopefully we can get some. I haven't ran this enough, so there there's definitely a like a a route to take on the fastest way to do it. I'm just gonna do it this way. And there's some male gauntlets. Really, what we're looking for is some rare items here. Some blues. I don't think epics drop in here, but you definitely want to get this. Or if you don't got the Scarlet Monastery ta uh, Tabard, that usually drops in the Scarlet Halls. That's where I've seen the, the best place to, to farm that. green items there a durable robe 1772 now whenever you come in here you gotta have to open this door and what you can do, you can just run to the last boss right here. Uh, Scarlet Commander Morgrain. And if you attack him, every mob in this room will attack you. So you don't have to go to each room. They just come to you and then you can just get them down with one AOE here. So the High Inquisitor, uh, White Mane, will resurrect this guy here. And then you have to kill them both. At your side, my lady. So we'll loot all this. We got some greens there, it looks like. And where the secret room is here is you want to come down here to this area right here. As you notice, there's a skull on the map. And there is a little torch on the wall, and you just want to click this torch right here. And when you do that, this door will open, and that is where this little guy is hiding Fairbank. So, we'll loot him. And we're going to go back to the beginning of this dungeon and go to the next one. So, we'll be right back. Alright, the next one we're going to go into is the Armory. Now, this is another one where you need the Scarlet Key to access. 
And this one, this one is pretty straightforward. There's, there's nothing that I know of that's secret in here. It's just mobs that you want to kill. Oh, there we go. Scarlet Boots. How about that? Nice. That's a good one. We'll take that. Also, here's a crate right here. So look out for these crates on the ground. This is what they look like. They're armor crates. It looks like we got a gray piece there. But gray pieces are transmogable now, so you might need it. And capes are universal, so. The, the last two here, the Scarlet Halls and this one, ha probably have the most mobs in it, I'd say. They're probably the easiest to farm. Ooh, a Scarlet Belt right there. That's nice. Oh yeah, we got to open this door right here. So this one right here, the armory, this is where I've looted the Scarlet Tabard the most is from Herod here. Uh, not from him personally, but after you kill him, a bunch of um, trainees will run down and I've looted it from the trainees quite often. So if you're looking to get the Scarlet Tabard, you run this quite a few times, you should get the Tabard. So this is the armory. We're gonna run back to the entrance and go to the last one. All right, so we're gonna go into our last dungeon and that's the Scarlet Halls here. And in here, there is a boss down here. It's like on a side, it's a basically like a beast trainer guy. And then the final one right down here. So we got some banded armor there. Like I said, this one, the Scarlet Halls and the Armory are probably like the two best I have, I think have the most mobs in it. So this is the side room right here and this is where Houndmaster uh, Loxy is located. So just make sure you don't skip him. You might need a transmog piece or two from him. <laughs> There's a chest here, but it's locked, unfortunately. Also, there's like a secret room here for like somewhere around here. I don't know if it's in the vanilla one or not, but you need like detection as a rogue to to find like these two rats. Now, I'm not too familiar with it, but I'm just going to throw it out there just in case someone is. Also, there's books in here and I'm sure it's part of an achievement. What achievement? I can't. I can't. Um, think off the top of my head which one it is but when it's like books of Azeroth or something
So just make sure to look out for those chests and those armor crates. Because that's extra loot. Now in here where Arcanist don't, don't is, if you have the Scarlet Key and this is your first time running it, uh, right behind Arcanist Dome right here will be a chest. And if you loot it, you'll get another Scarlet Key. So you can either sell it or give it to a friend who hasn't looted the key yet. So that's all four runs. Now let's see what we got here. It says total loot value here is quite a bit. It's like 1,631,020. But of course that's... Um, you know, that's that's probably not accurate. But we did loot some really good things. And what we looted was... We got a pattern here. So we'll just put this over here. We got the heavy earthen pattern. So I'll send that over to my uh, leather worker and see if he got it. A uh, lot of... A lot of... Uh, grays. Uh, I think our big winner here was the... was for sure the scarlet boots so here's another where the scarlet boots right here now these were pretty big these were it says right here one auction for a million so maybe if i put it in for 750k someone that really wants this transmog piece uh can get it because the whole scarlet set drops in here because we also looted the scarlet belt in here so and then earlier we looted the scarlet gloves and the wrist guard so that's four pieces i think those were the biggest things that we here's a green item we can sell now all of this is uh, i got these all set up in groups with tsm so Anything that I think is worth selling, I got them in, in groups here. So that way when I post it on the auction house, it's pretty quick. Yeah, I think those were the, the biggest things we got. Uh, were the Scarlet Boots, the Pattern, and the Scarlet Belt. The rest were uh, pretty, you know, three, four hundred gold off that. So, well, I hope this video helped and gave you an idea of how to run run these four dungeons some items you can loot and where to find and locate certain rares now if i miss it if i miss something running these uh please let me know in the comments below also i use tsm for quick selling on the auction house so if anyone needs any help with that and how to set it up just let me know and i'll be i'll be more than happy to help you so i hope this video helped and good luck with your collecting